Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we'll discuss how to add and create an RFI in government mode and how to enable contractor data editing within a contract. Now let's get started. Adding an RFI is something that the contractor usually completes in contractor mode. However, RMS 3 allows the government to create and add an RFI in certain situations. Unless enabled, creating an RFI in government mode will automatically create a GRFI. For more information on how to complete a GRFI, please view the link in the description box below. To enable contractor RFI editing, navigate to the contractor setup module under the administration tab. Then click the checkbox allow government to enter contractor data to enable. This action may cause severe effects and requires authentication to continue. Please follow your district policy before proceeding. Proceeding with this step will create a logged entry with the time, date, and person performing this action. Enter your username and password, or PIN, then click OK. Click the back button to save these changes. To add and create an RFI, proceed to the request for information module. All RFIs can be filtered at the top by category. All RFIs, contractor RFIs preparing, RFIs not received, outstanding RFIs, and complete RFIs. Click the add button. A pop-up message states that a contractor RFI is going to be created and to uncheck contractor editing to create a GRFI. Since we are creating a new contractor RFI, click OK. Starting at the top, begin to fill out the requested sections. RMS 3 will automatically insert the date the RFI is created. However, this date can be changed by clicking the adjacent calendar widget and choosing the appropriate date. Enter the requester's name and required date. Click on the calendar widget to select the date the response from the government is needed. The link to subcontractor checkbox should be marked if the information is being requested on behalf of a subcontractor. Clicking on this box will now allow us to choose a specific subcontractor by clicking the blue box and selecting the appropriate contractor. The potential cost impact checkbox should be marked if the resolution to the RFI could result in a cost change to the contract. The potential schedule impact checkbox should be marked if the resolution to the RFI could affect the contract completion date. In the RFI subject, enter a short title for the RFI. This field is limited to 60 characters. If necessary, select the feature of work this RFI applies to from the feature of work lookup list. When applicable, enter the specification section number which the RFI applies. If there are drawings and details, enter the drawing number and or detail identification which the RFI applies in this section. The information requested section is required before the completed checkbox can be marked. Describe the circumstances require additional input. Be as detailed as possible to enable the government to respond accurately. When the additional documents are needed to fully explain the situation, these may be attached in the document package. Contractor's recommendation allows contractors to explain any possible solutions for the government's consideration. Click on Add in the Document Package sections to add the RFI form to the document package and attach its supporting documents. We will click the Add button and choose a file from our system to add to this package. Once added, click Submit for review. Since this attachment doesn't need to be signed, we can ignore the signature prompts accordingly. If there are any additional notes to be added, enter them in the Review Notes section, then click the Accept Package button. Click the Back button to save. Then click the completed Ready for Government checkbox. In the Government Response tab, by entering the received date, the receipt acknowledged by will automatically be filled. Once the answer date has been identified, the Answer Complete checkbox can now be selected. Enter the Government Response and select the Answer Prepared by name by clicking the blue box and selecting the Signature Block Lookup table. The Answer Prepared by name varies by district. This is intended to be the COR, ACO, or KO. However, sometimes information is input by others, therefore it is best practice to follow the district's policy for more information. If the Modification Required option is checked, a new row will appear, the Change Request Number. By clicking this button, a lookup selection view will display any modifications associated with this RFI. For this demonstration, we do not need this option checked. We may now click the Answer Completed checkbox, and once the COR and ACO have approved it, click the box accordingly. Doing so will create an RFI response document. Double click the file to open it. For this demonstration, we will manually sign a document and complete the package. Click the back button to save. The top document package is visible to both government and contractor, whereas the bottom document package is only visible to the government. Add any additional documents that will be shared with the contractor to the shared or top portion, and if documents are for government use only, only add to the bottom. After this is done, click the back button to return to the RFI selection screen. As we can see, our newly created RFI has been completed and approved. 
To delete an RFI, simply select the RFI and click Delete. Clicking Yes will result in deletion of this RFI and is not reversible. Please note that RFI numbers cannot be used even after deletion, as adding an RFI continues counting where last left off. In summary, we went over how to enable contractor data editing within a contract, how to add and create an RFI in government mode, as well as how to delete an RFI. We hope you found this information helpful and thank you for watching.